have uh, been asked to go out face up straight away for the Super Bowl. 12 required from six balls. It's going to be an interesting field set, this. Cummins with uh, good changes of pace and uh, that in-swinging movement he gets uh, lethal at times, but it's not a new ball, so it's an older ball, and he is uh, decidedly slippery. Is Pat Cummins, strapping 19-year-old, with uh, a bit of pressure on those shoulders. Here we go, first ball of the Pakistan Super Open. Slow one, beautifully bowled. Change of pace, the run out. <laughs> it is all happening. Abdul Razak, he wanted the strike, wanted to run through for a bye. They're feeling it's still there in the stadium of the fans. Well, he's got to be a little careful here, uh, Umar Akmal. He's looking to bash the first delivery. He was nowhere near the bat. They've got to make sure that they put a bat on ball. Straight down the ground. Cracking stroke for four. That relieves a lot of pressure. For Pakistan, lovely clean strike from uh, Uma Akma. He was looking for another uh, big shot. Wrong length, wrong line for Uma Akma, and he made a full use of it, didn't he? Look at that, right from the middle of the bat. There's no fielder there behind the umpire. Shows the right place to hit. Uh, there's discussion here with uh, the bowler and the captain, Bailey. He's really got to come up with a uh, delightful in swing walk. The thing is here, if you're trying to bowl Yorkers, you don't want your third man and final leg up inside the circle. They are. So he's gone with that shorter one. And the run out is on. Can he get it? No, he can't. Akmal's furious with himself that he missed out in scooping the delivery over the keeper. They still scramble through, though, and they've scored five. Well, that's a serious inexperience. Abdul Razak is being given uh, the opportunity and responsibility to go out there and finish the job. He's done well with the ball today. But can he finish it with the bat? Well, the problem with that too, what that is that when you've got your third man and fine leg up, you really are telegraphing what you're going to bowl. And it's going to be a, a slow tennis ball bouncer. It's going to be a slower ball rather than trying to back yourself to bowl a Yorker. As soon as you bring those two men up, you're risking too much to go full. And he's gone short and he's got pain. And it's another boundary, and they're uh, running away with the super over. Three to win off just a couple legs. That's well, nicely struck by the Rosario. They didn't bat in the last uh, couple of games, but uh, was up against it. Short, wide, and dispatched it for four. They can feel it. The game is in Pakistan's pocket. Uh, and a discussion with the bowl and the captain also a discussion with the non-striker he's fairly pumped and uh, Dave Hussey had to go across to the umpire to have a wee chat it's a lot being expressed out there but uh, when you hit two boundaries early in the super over and you're only chasing 12 you're certainly in the driving seat as the batting side they need wicket, the Australians. Otherwise, uh, I don't really see any problem that Pakistan will have to chase this three runs of the two deliveries. Up in the air. Safe on the half volley. It's a single. We have come down <laughs> to the last ball. A single will be another tie.
Criddle tied the super over on the half volley. Couldn't get there. Dave Hussey. Now, the previous five tied games, three were decided by the old-fashioned bowl out. Two by a super over. Batters are having a chat. Captain and the bowler on the fielding side. Cummins and Bailey having a discussion. We're now into the 8th of September. <laughs> it is after midnight. Good morning, everybody, wherever you are. Lots of discussion still going on with the Brains Trust. Cameron White, a former Australian T20 captain, talking with uh, Matty Wade and George Bailey. So the message has been run out. Umpires are telling them to get off the park. One of the extra men getting told to get off. Get on and just bowl this last delivery. Well, uh, think about the crowd. They're having a great time. They're nervous, no doubt about that. They're under pressure. Watch that. One thing you've noticed, nobody's sitting. They're all on their feet. Well, they sure are. So every man, woman and child in the stadium. Some of the Aussies, yeah, they're just covering their faces up. Can't bear to watch, hiding the flag. Australia need a wicket. Desperately need a wicket here. Two to win it off the last ball, minimum. We just need a tie here, I've been told. Pakistan just need a tie. The tied suit rover. Because they've hit more boundaries. More combined boundaries in their innings. Australia really need a wicket here. Can Cummins do it? Oh, he's bowled a wide. The young fellas had a shocker. You get that? Pressure's told. So it's all tied. They just need a single here to win it. So Cummins needs to knock the stumps over. That's uh, a lot of uh, pressure for a young Cummins. This is the first time that he has come in this part of the world. That was a favor. That was all over the place. If he was up, we thought that they won it, but uh, still not finished yet. Can Australia pick up a wicket to, to make it another tie? Well, everyone inside the circle now. So it's got to happen. Scores are uh, level in the super over. And that's all they know. That's what he knows now. He's just uh, realised too, Hafiz. He almost just blocked this delivery to win the match and take out the series. Cummins needs to rip a stump out. Here we go. And run out is on. It doesn't matter. Huffman will keep running through. They've won it. They've won the series. Have the men in green. Disconsolate are the Aussies. On the other side of the coin, they're out of their seats and the home crowd are cheering, whistling and loving it. Came down to a super over and Pakistan have held their nerve. Well, that's a great achievement by the Pakistanis. This is the first time Pakistan have beaten Australia in the 2020 series. Last time they, these two teams met, there was in the World Cup 2010, where Australia won the game, big, big game that was. And uh, I tell you, last two games, Pakistan played like champions. Both these games have been won convincingly, but what a game this one was. Good crowd in, and everybody had a ball. They had a great time, and uh, we all enjoyed this. Superb game of cricket. Now, uh, Pakistani players come out, handshakes the two captains, Hafiz and George Bailey. 
So, uh, nice touch this. End of uh, international cricket these days. Handshakes from uh, both sides. It'll be very disappointed, Australia. But uh, you're going to have to say the better side for Pakistan. A little bit more dominant, just that little bit more explosiveness and X factor. And uh, deservedly now take the series. A 2 0 up with one to play. Uma Akma gets a fuller one, tries to drive it through cover off the toe of the blade, and look at him go, scampering through. The run out was on, it missed, and uh, Akmal knew it, and he just kept going. Taking on Hussein Bolt and Johan Blake, charging through for the winner's take, loving it. Very pumped and over the moon, taking this out just after midnight local time here in the UAE. Fabulous scenes, everyone out of their seats. Loving it here in uh, the Dubai Sports City. The Ring of Fire. Fabulous stadium, has seen a great T20 International. The second of three, 151 for four. Tied with 151 from eight from Australia. And we had to have a super over. And uh, Pakistan have got up to take out the one over eliminator. Be back very, very shortly with uh, the post-match presentation and Rami's Rajan.